In the last exercise, you went through a function's lifecycle. At every step, you tested it by calling row to list on different arguments and checked if the return values are correct. This was repetitive, tedious, and time consuming. In this lesson, we will learn to write unit tests and improve this process. There are many Python libraries for writing unit tests, such as PyTest, Unit Test, Nose Tests, and DocTest. We will use PyTest for this course because PyTest has all essential features, is easiest to use, and is the most popular testing library in Python. To start unit testing with PyTest, we will first create a file called test row to listpy When PyTest sees a file name starting with test underscore, it understands that this is not an usual Python file, but a special one containing unit tests. We must make sure to follow this naming convention. Files holding unit tests are also called test modules, and we just created our first test module. In the test module, we first import PyTest. Then we import the function under test. A unit test is written as a Python function whose name starts with a test underscore, just like the test module. This way, PyTest can tell that it is a unit test and not an ordinary function. The unit test usually corresponds to exactly one entry in the argument and return value table for row to list. The unit test checks whether row to list has the expected return value when called on this particular argument. This particular argument is a clean row, so we call the unit test test for clean row. The actual check is done via an assert statement, and every test must contain one. The assert statement has a required first argument, which can be any Boolean expression. If the expression is true, the assert statement passes, giving us a blank output. If the expression is false, it raises an assertion error. In this case, we want to check if row to list returns the correct list when called on the clean row. The expression we use is row to list called on the argument equal equals the correct list. If the function works, this will evaluate to true and the assert statement will pass. This will make the test pass. If the function has a bug, it will evaluate to false, the assert statement will raise an assertion error and the test will fail. For the second row in the table, we create a unit test called test on missing area because the argument has missing area data. Then we assert that the return value for this argument is none. Note that the correct way to check if a variable's value is none is to use the Boolean expression var is none and not var equal equals none. For the third row in the table, we create a unit test called test for missing tab because the argument is missing the tab separating area and price. The assert statement is similar to the second test. To test whether row to list is working at any time in its life cycle, we simply run the test module. The standard way to run tests is to open a command line and type pytest followed by the test module name. In the data camp exercises, we can't create files directly. So you will define the unit tests in the script.py area, which is highlighted here. In the next step or next exercise, we will write the tests to a test module in the background and tell you its file path. This is highlighted in this slide. Once you know the test module's file path, you can run the tests in the IPython console at the bottom, which is highlighted here. You can run any command line expression in the IPython console by adding an exclamation mark before the expression. For example, to run the pytest command, you have to use exclamation pytest as shown in the picture. Running this command will output the test result report, which contains information about bugs in the function, if any. We will cover the test result report in the next video lesson. But now, let's practice writing some simple unit tests using